Hi Stampin' Friends, I'm Beth Arnold, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Virginia. Thank you for joining me. Today's project features a center stair fun fold card. This is the project that I shared on my blog post using the Dragonfly Garden Bundle, highlighting the center area here. I did mention in my blog post that you could decorate this card in a variety of ways. I wanted to share with you a different way to decorate your center stair card. This center stair card has decoration on the sides and the bottom with designer series paper and stamped embellishments. I also used the bird as a focal image toward the side and decorated with ribbon here. On the inside of the card, I stamped the flowers. Let's get started. For today's center stair fun fold card, you'll need a bone folder, paper snips, petal pink ink, memento tuxedo black ink, a piece of pale papaya sheer ribbon, liquid glue, your paper trimmer. The Friendly Hello stamp set will be using the Hello Friend, the flower image, and the bird image. The Friendly Hello stamp set is part of a bundle in the celebration catalog on pages 12 and 13. It comes with the Friendly Hello Designer Series paper with a qualifying order of $100 or more US. For your paper pieces, you'll need an eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock for your card base two pieces of Friendly Hello Designer Series paper cut at one by three inches, another piece of Friendly Hello Designer Series paper cut at three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter. You'll need a piece of basic white cardstock for the outside center area that measures two and three quarters by three inches and an inside piece that measures five and a quarter by three. If you are adding the bird image like me, you'll need a piece of basic white cardstock um, that is slightly larger than your stamped image. Let's cut and score our card base with a five inch side parallel to the top of your scoreboard. Slide the leftmost edge of your cardstock to the one and a quarter inch. When I leave my trimmer arm open, slide my scoring blade out of the way and I want to carefully slide my trimming blade to the one inch line on the vertical clear ruler. I'm going to bring down my scoring blade to the five and a quarter inch mark and stop. Lift up your arm, slide your card base over to the four and a quarter area. Again, with your arm open, slide your trimmer blade back to the one inch mark. Close your arm, cut all the way to the five and a quarter inch line on your ruler, lift up your trimmer arm and you have cut your card base. Next, rotate your card base 90 degrees counterclockwise and line it up with the one inch mark on your paper trimmer. We're gonna score only on the sides. Lift up your trimmer arm, bring your score blade down to the second cut mark and score on the edge. Lift up your trimmer arm, slide your card base to the two inch edge. And again, we're gonna score only on the side edges here. So I'm gonna bring the trimmer blade down from the edge of the cardstock to the first cut line. Lift up, bring the blade down. Score on the other side, lift up. Slide your card base to the four and a quarter inch side and we're only gonna do the center area. I'm gonna line up my trimmer, my scoring blade to the center two lines and score. Last, we're gonna move our card base to the five and a quarter inch line. And we're gonna score only on the edges again, the sides. Okay. 
here is your cut and scored card base. Next, you're gonna fold and burnish all of your score lines. Be careful not to go outside of the areas that you did not score, like on the side pieces or the center piece. I'm starting with the five and a quarter inch score lines. quarter inch score line. Next I'll do these side pieces. The first score line you're going to fold like a mountain and the second score line you're going to fold like a valley. Burnish those edges really well. And then you have your card base and it will stand up like this. The flower image stamp pale papaya ink all over the square. This piece will be for the center so make sure when you do stamp your greeting that your cardstock is oriented correctly. Stamp your bird with memento. And then fussy cut him out. You could certainly um, use color pencils or pastels or uh, stamp and blends to color in the bird, but I really liked how the designer series paper had the outline of the bird or the outline of the flowers as the focal part instead of uh, coloring in the image. Let's put our pieces on our card base.
I stamped the two flowers in the inside so I can write a nice note, but you could stamp more. You could put a piece of designer series paper inside too. It's up to you how you would like to decorate your piece. Okay, I think I'm gonna raise the bird up on dimensionals. I just wanna see where I wanna put the dimensionals. I love dimensionals. I need a t-shirt that says I love dimensionals. I will use an entire sheet of dimensionals on just one card. Maybe not one whole sheet, but pretty close. Um, I'm a very uh, strong advocate of extra dimensionals. I want to make sure that your project or your card gets to your recipient in one piece. It's not damaged. Um, I tend to go on the side of more dimensionals than less dimensionals. I think I could have put a couple more dimensionals on there, but that looks really good. Okay, so let's add our ribbon. I used pale papaya ribbon here. I know the coordinating color for the designer series paper is petal pink, but the pale papaya ribbon is very close. I love this ribbon. This pale papaya ribbon is gorgeous as it is, but it is light enough that you could use your Stampin' Blends to change the color. Here is your completed card. I hope you give this Sender Stair Step card a try. If you have any questions, I'm happy to assist you. Please send me an email or leave a comment below. You can also download the scoring and cutting template in the companion post for this project. If you need any supplies to make this card, you can shop 24 seven on my online shop. I can't wait to see your center stair card. Send me a photo of your completed card to my email and I may feature you in an upcoming newsletter. Thanks for joining me today. Until next time, happy stamping.